Hola amigos, I'd like to present a game which offers more than entertainment, an adventure title which warms the very soul as you play and experience it. The one where your recollection goes into the finest possible detail and everyone else acknowledges fond memories of it. Grim Pandango is such a game, forged from the inspiration of Tim Schafer and his talented team at LucasArts. It's a gigabyte of murder, mystery, humour, romance, artwork and jazz which becomes one with the body and mind forever. All right! Who's ready to rock and roll? Maybe literally, okay? Nice bathroom! Grim Fandango is contained within the most peculiar of settings, the land of the dead. Before you can reach the ninth underworld of eternal rest, all souls must pass through this ominous otherworld as skeletons. Manny Calavera is our hero, working as a sales agent at the Department of Death to offer the recently deceased their reward for living a good life. Depending upon their qualifications, clients may earn a ticket on the number 9 train, which speeds them straight to the ninth underworld. On the contrary, if they were sinners, then they'd either have to undertake a four-year journey on foot to reach heaven, or work off their dues in an honest job like Manny. Sadly for Manuel, his career as a hotshot salesman has taken a slide, and his rival Domino seems to be taking in all of the premium clients, taking a hefty risk with the help of a gigantic bear-like demon called Glottis, who is addicted to modifying and riding in high-speed vehicles, Manny steals one of Domino's clients. Meche Colomar, who led a saintly life as a community worker, is found to qualify for nothing more than a walking stick for the journey ahead. Manny can't seem to find the answer why, and Meche rushes out, feeling that she let him down. Something appears to be crooked at the department, and Manny leaves the city of El Maro with Glottis intent on finding Meche, believing she's his ticket to freedom. Manuel, are you in love with her? Love? Love is for the living, Sal. I'm only after her for one reason. She's my ticket out of here. The story is a four-year journey which contains almost every theme imaginable. It's like the Princess Bride. Fighting, corruption, humor, betrayal, friendship, romance, and redemption all wrapped into an amazing film noir style. It's really something special and it makes you feel good about yourself. The themes give it so much power for you to connect with the characters easily and understand them without the need for words. You'll remember every single character in this game, I guarantee it, because they all have these unique representations and themes which are burnt into your memory. Some festival, huh? Yeah, yeah, pretty busy. My carpal tunnel syndrome's really acting up. But you don't have any tendons. Yeah, well, you don't have a tongue. But that doesn't seem to shut you up, now does it? When we analyze the artwork of Grim Fandango, I find it interesting to note this is one of the leading games which people have been pushing to call a form of art in itself. The style of art is a mixture of Aztec and Art Deco architecture with classy neon lights. The environments are all drawn in 2D, but all of the characters are in 3D. Grim Fandango was one of the leading adventure titles on this transition towards 3D. Every locale you visit is superbly thought out and different. From the sinister petrified woods to the quiet town of Rubicaba, you can appreciate the art just from the point of view of how long it took someone to come up with this. Even the very character models have a form of symbolism, calico figures from the Day of the Dead. All the subtle motifs in Grim Fandango add up for a journey which is highly visual and immensely satisfying. Grim Fandango contains a concoction of smooth jazz to represent film noir and South American folk music to fit in with its heavily folklore emphasis. I can't express how much I enjoy this soundtrack. It fits every scene perfectly, and to keep in with the momentum, the voice actors mostly Latinos themselves. They can each handle their scripts well, especially when it comes to the countless jokes in the game. Comedy is actually a very strong element to the experience, and it covers various types of humor as well. How do you do this job? Without becoming jaded, you mean? My secret to happiness, Manuel, is that I have the heart of a 12-year-old boy. I keep it over here in a jar. Would you like to see it? No. 
Regrettably, gameplay is the last area I want to move into. Don't worry, it plays like a regular adventure game aside from the 3D controls anyway. You have an inventory to use and items to solve puzzles, gaining hints from conversations. The conflict lies in the difficulty to even run the game. It hates computers and DirectX with a passion, and only specific ones are accepting of its engine. There are ways to solve the issues and you should check out my basic solution in the video description. Furthermore, many bugs seem to arise in year 3 of the game, where voice dialogue causes crashes and the conveyor belt puzzle likes to flip out on you. If you have the strength to endure these problems, then the rest of the game should be a smooth ride. You don't understand, Manny! I was created just to do that job! It's the only thing that makes me happy! It's like they reached into my chest and pulled out my heart and threw it into the woods to... Adventure games are basically a dead genre now. My suggestion, why don't you play the one about the dead? Room Fandango is at the peak of adventure games. The arrangement of many different story, music, and art elements provides for an exceedingly fulfilling game, which will please everyone in some way. It doesn't really matter what age you are, the appreciation is universal. It's an elegant and fun game which ultimately makes you feel a little better about your life. Grim Fandango has had such an impact on my own life that I make sure that Day of the Dead is when I sit down and honor this game. It's great fun, and all of you should enjoy it. So what, what is, is up, up with airplane, airplane food, food anyway? Is he trying to be funny? I mean, I mean it's, it's so small, small and not, not that, that good. good.